Sri Guru Bhim, my children. Welcome to online class. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic, which is properties of acids. Okay. So, what are the properties we have? Normally, whenever we learn the properties, we will be categorizing the properties as physical property and chemical properties. Okay. So first, let us see what are the physical properties does acids acid have. Okay. So acids have sour taste. The first principal property we can identify the acid with the very important characteristic uh, feature that normally acids have sour taste. Okay. And then normally they are corrosive in nature. Uh, we have two types of acids: mineral acids and organic acids. Both are uh, some corrosive only, but mineral acids are very corrosive, whereas weak acids will not have that much corrosive nature. Okay, and acids turn blue litmus red. When we test the acids with the litmus paper, the blue litmus paper will turn into red. And acids can conduct electricity because already I told you that in aqueous solution, that means when acids are dissolved in water. They generate H plus ions. Okay. So these H plus ions will not be existing as free H plus ion in water. So immediately they will combine with these H plus ion which is considered to be what? Acid proton. Okay. These are called as acid protons. Right. So more H plus ions will be generated by acids when they are dissolved in water. And then immediately these H plus ions, that means the protons, will combine with the molecule of water and then they form the hydronium ions. Now the ions produced by acids when they react with water is hydronium ion. Okay. So H3O plus ion is called as what? Hydronium ion. Right. So here uh, we have lemon. Uh, this lady is having lemon. Okay, so what does this lemon contains? It contains a citric acid. Okay, that's why the soreness taste is felt by this lady. Okay, and then acids are corrosive in nature. That's why, see, when it is uh, just get contact with any filter paper or any cloth, it will get spoiled by this acid okay whenever acids are in contact with metal surface even the metal surface also uh, will be corroded due to this acid nature okay so these are some of the physical properties we have right so the free ions due to the presence of free ions only they can conduct electricity which are all the free ions now the h plus ions are the free ions okay when acids are treated with water then it produces free ions. For example, let us take an acid HCl. When HCl is dissolved in water, then it produces what? H plus ion and Cl minus ion. Now this H plus ion cannot exist as free ion. So that immediately it will combine with this and then form H3O plus ion and then Cl minus will remain as anion. Okay, due to the presence of these free ions only, acids can conduct electricity. Okay, children. Next, chemical properties. Normally, we have five chemical properties when acids are treated with other substances. The first one is reaction of acids with metals. So, when acids are treated with the metals, then what will be the reaction? Produce salt and hydrogen gas will be evolved. Okay, so acids, already I told you that acids contain proton. And then negative radical. For example, if we have HCl as an acid, it will give H plus ion and then Cl minus ion. Okay. And metals. So metals are normally electropositive in nature. Let us take a metal, magnesium. Okay. Now magnesium is a metal which is electropositive in nature. So, as it is electropositive, definitely it will be attracted. That means it will attract the negative part of this acid. Okay. So, there are two, that means Mg2 plus 1, Mg2 plus ion is there, isn't it? So, it requires 2 Cl minus to produce salt. Okay. So, we have 2 HCl. 
So two H plus ions and two Cl minus ions are produced, and this two Cl minus ion will combine with this magnesium and then produces magnesium chloride salt. Then what happened to this remaining H plus? It will be evolved as H2 gas, hydrogen gas. Okay, so we'll discuss in detail with other examples. Okay. And the second one is reaction of acids with metal carbonates. So when you take metal carbonates, metal carbonates contain carbonate ion, the polyatomic ion called carbonate, isn't it? So that carbonate when contact with the acid will be evolved as carbon dioxide and then as a result of the reaction of metal with this acid produces salt. Okay, so let us take any uh, acid, okay. And the acid is HCl. Let us take HCl as an example and then magnesium metal carbonate um, Na2CO3. Okay, sodium carbonate as a metal carbonate and then now it contains the carbonate ion. Okay, when we just uh, um, get the segregation, we will be getting 2 Na plus ion and then CO3, 2 minus ion. Okay, so now this Na2 plus ion will combine with this Cl minus and then produces the salt. So we need two molecules of HCl so that the salt produced will be two moles of NaCl. Okay, and then carbonate will be again for the divided group carbon dioxide and oxygen. Now this free oxygen will be taken by the hydrogen of acid so that after the evolution of carbon dioxide, the oxygen of that carbonate combines with that hydrogen of acid to form water. Okay, and the third reaction is reaction of acids with metal hydrogen carbonate. Now this metal hydrogen carbonate can be otherwise called as metal bicarbonate. Okay, metal bicarbonate. So the term bi stands for what? Presence of hydrogen. Okay, the presence of hydrogen can be denoted by the term bi, bi, okay. So, when acids are treated with the metal hydrogen carbonate, the same products as the previous one, that means the second one, when acids are treated with metal carbonate, what are the products for? Salt, carbon dioxide and water, the same products will be the result of the reaction between acids and metal hydrogen carbonate. Okay, so salt will be produced and carbon dioxide gas will be evolved, then water molecules are formed. Let us see with an example now. So HCl, okay, with magnesium hydrogen carbonate. Okay, that means magnesium bicarbonate. As the valency of magnesium is 2, we have to write it as MgHCO3 twice. Okay, so it requires 2 moles of acid. So the salt produced will be Mg. Cl2 and then two molecules of carbon dioxide will be evolved during this reaction and two moles of water. Okay, so, then, so this is how the metal hydrogen carbonates show reaction with acid. Then the fourth one is reaction of acids with the bases. So bases are the compounds which liberate hydroxyl ion on dilution. When these bases are treated with acid, then what happened? Acids will be getting neutralized. Okay, so the reaction can be called as neutralization reaction. Okay, so now what happens? Let us check with an example here. So now our acid is HCl and the base is sodium hydroxide. So, when we take this will be getting segregated as H plus ion and Cl minus ion. Whereas this one as Na plus and OH minus ion. Now this Na plus will be taking this negative radical of acid and gives salt NaCl. And then the remaining OH minus ion in base and H plus ion in acid will be combined to form a molecule of water. So, this reaction is called as neutralization. Reaction. Okay, we'll discuss in detail. Next, the last one is reaction of acids with metal oxides. Now, metal oxides, this is also the same type of reaction because the products you can check. Okay, if you check the products, the same product, salt and water here, also the products are salt and 
water. Okay, children. So, reaction of acids with the metal oxides. When metal oxides are treated with acid, as the metal oxides are basic in nature, it gives salt and water as the products. Okay, so now we'll discuss in detail about these properties of acids. Okay, chemical properties of acids. Now, the first chemical property is reaction of acids with metal. Already I told you that metals are, okay, metals are electropositive element, right? So, electropositive element. As they are electropositive, what will be the nature of these metals? They can donate electrons. They can donate electrons from the valence shell. As they donate electrons, they can form cations. Okay, metal ions will be having positive charge. So, such ions are called as what? Cations. Right? So, as the metals are cations, they are cationic in nature. Of course, when they react with the acids, they will take the negative part of the acid to form salt. Okay, children. So, whenever acids react with the metal, the products formed are salt and hydrogen gas. So, hydrogen gas will be getting liberated. Okay. So, let us check with an example now. Acids reacts with the metal to form salt and hydrogen gas is the standard reaction. Okay, standard reaction. Now, the acid which we have taken here is sulfuric acid. Okay, H2SO4 is what? Sulfuric acid. Now, the sulfuric acid reacts with the metal zinc. And produces the salt, zinc, sulfate and liberate hydrogen gas. Okay, hydrogen gas. Let me tell you how this reaction is taking place. Okay, now what happened during this reaction? See, this H2SO4, that is sulfuric acid. When it is getting segregated, it will give two H plus ions and SO4 to minus ion. Okay, one SO4 to minus ion. Now, this SO4 to minus ion will be taken by the metal as it is electropositive. Okay, the ion produced by zinc is what? Zinc 2 plus. Okay, so it will combine with this sulfate ion and then produces zinc sulfate salt. As you all know that how to write the chemical formula because already we have learned in 9th standard as zinc, uh, valency of zinc is 2 plus and sulfate 2 minus. So, when we exchange the valencies as they are similar, that means the valencies are oppositely charged plus and minus, they will be getting cancelled. So, that we will be getting the empirical formula as ZnSO4 which is nothing but zinc sulfate. Okay, now the remaining two H plus ions present in this acid will be liberated as hydrogen gas. Okay, children, so this is how the reactions will be taking place when the metals are treated with acids. Okay, so let us have another example here. When zinc is treated with HCl, then what happened? When zinc metal is treated with HCl, then as zinc valency is 2 plus, it requires two molecules of acid to react with. Okay, so that ZnCl2 will be the salt. That means zinc chloride is the salt produced during this reaction and hydrogen gas will be getting liberated. Now, how to test the liberated gases? Okay, how to test the liberated gases? We have some confirmatory tests to identify the liberated gases. Okay, because uh, sometimes when the metals are treated with or metal salts are treated with acids, no, will be getting colorless gases and in some cases will be getting colored gases also. So, at that condition, if it is a colored gas, we can identify by uh, then by the color. 
okay but if they are colorless gases then how to identify them we have some confirmatory test to identify those colorless gases also now hydrogen which is a colorless gas only okay so when zinc is reacted with the sulfuric acid it liberates zinc zinc granules are taken uh, in sulfuric acid and then the reaction is taking place so that the hydrogen gas is liberated which is collected through the delivery tube and it is passed into the soap solution so that from the soap solution the bubbles are emerging now the hydrogen gas is colorless isn't it so that the colorless gas will be tested by pop sound experiment okay so here when the hydrogen gas is passed into the soap solution the bubbles are getting emerged now the emerged bubbles are tested with the burning candle or the burning matchstick immediately the bubbles will burst out with pop sound okay here when the bubble is get contact with okay with that burning candle then immediately it gives the pop sound so that we can confirm the gas evolved is hydrogen gas as i said some of the gases are colorless and some of the gases are colored let us check what are the colorless gases okay now the colorless gases are hydrogen which is colorless gas can be tested by pop sound experiment whereas carbon dioxide is also colorless gas which can be tested with lime water that i'll explain you in the next property okay so we can test the colorless gases by this if the gases are colored then how to identify by the color let me tell you some examples here colored gases okay colored gases we have nitrogen okay which is nitrogen dioxide when nitrogen dioxide is evolved which can be identified by reddish brown okay when nitrate salts are heated we will be getting this reddish brown okay already we have learnt in first lesson decomposition reaction when lead nitrate is heated it liberates reddish brown gas of nitrogen dioxide okay and then roman even that one also dark brown color gas chlorine if chlorine is the gas liberated then it is greenish yellow gas so these are some of the examples the gases which are colored in nature which can be identified by the color but if the gases are colorless then we have to test them with certain test okay so here we have hydrogen gas getting liberated during the reaction between the acid and the metal so that the gas can be tested by pop sound experiment how to test it by passing the gas in soap solution so that the bubbles will be emerging from the soap solution when it is getting contact with the burning candle or burning matchstick immediately it gives the pop sound okay so this is how we can confirm the test okay can confirm the gas by this test right now acids in our day to day life so how acids are playing a very important role in our day to day life normally now the condition is so uh, critical that means uh, we are in a, a pandemic uh, situation isn't it so that we are supposed to take the citric fruits that means the fruits contain vitamin c right so that whenever we prepare juice fresh juice of lemon it has to be prepared as a fresh one and then we have to consume it it should not be stored for a long time then what happen if it is stored vitamins loss of vitamins okay then no use of taking such juices right and one more thing normally the acid that means the source substances cannot be stored should not be stored in the vessels like copper or brass so what happened when we store those uh, source substances in uh, vessels like copper and brass immediately the source substances contain acids right so the acids will react with that metal container and then causing that means pr uh, producing um, poisonous salts and those poisonous salts when we consume 
will we will suffer of food poisoning as a result okay so uh, sore substances should not be stored in vessels like copper or brass if they are stored then what happened it causes food poisoning because it produces poisonous substances so that was food poisoning will be the result okay so whenever we need juice it has to be prepared as a fresh one and then we have to consume it and the curd okay should not be stored in copper vessels or brass vessels because curd contains what lactic acid okay here we have curd which contains organic acid called lactic acid okay and here this is vinegar which contains acetic acid and lemon orange contains citric acid okay right so these are the four substances so should not be stored in vessels like copper or brass okay so now the second uh, property second chemical property of acids so what happens when acids are treated with metal carbonates when acids are treated with metal carbonates they liberate carbon dioxide gas and then forms salt and water as a by products okay carbon dioxide will be getting liberated salt is the main product formed during this reaction okay what is the main product this is the main product of the reaction whereas water is the by product by product means what it is nothing but along with the main product some other substances will be formed during the reaction and such substances uh, which can be used to little extent okay is called as what by product even that is also a useful product so that it is called as what by product the useful substance which are produced along with the main product is called by product okay so acids reacts with the metal carbonates to produce salt carbon dioxide and water here we have an example when hcl reacts with sodium carbonate what is this actually sodium carbonate okay sodium carbonate so that what happen will be getting two na plus ions and then co3 two minus ions now the co3 part is a negative one which contains carbon dioxide okay now this oxygen will be taken by the hydrogen that means protons of acid so that water molecules will be formed and this carbon dioxide will be liberated as carbon dioxide gas okay now we have two sodium ions which reacts with this cl minus ion and then form salt as the by product sorry main product okay now how to identify the gas even the carbon dioxide gas is also colorless gas only then how to identify this gas by brisk effervescence whenever the carbon dioxide gas is evolved it will be evolved with the indication of brisk effervescence okay what is brisk effervescence see uh, whenever we um, open the aerated drinks bottle okay like a coke a pepsi Uh, Miranda, Fanta. Okay, you could see that. Um, that means the juice will get splashed out. Okay, immediately when we open it. So what is that? Because it is aerated drink, which contains carbon dioxide. So the evolution of carbon dioxide is taking place when we open it immediately, isn't it? So the carbon dioxide present in it will be getting evolved due to the pressure because it contains gas, right? So the gaseous molecules have normally. high pressure so that it will be uh, trying to get evaporate out so when we open it immediately what happened the carbon dioxide gas will try to escape out so that will be indicated by this brisk effervescence so easily we can identify the carbon dioxide gas by this brisk effervescence formation let us check one more example here okay the metal carbonates uh, let us take hcl plus potassium carbonate okay when potassium carbonate is treated with this hcl what happened then two kcl will be formed this is salt potassium chloride 
okay is the salt potassium chloride and then carbon dioxide gas will be getting liberated then by product is water okay which is the main product here salt is the main product okay by product is what water and this will be evolved as gas okay so this is how the reactions between metal carbonates and acids will take place okay and the third property is reaction of acids with metal hydrogen carbonate so metal hydrogen carbonate can otherwise be called as what metal bicarbonate due to the presence of hydrogen we can give the term bi okay so it can be otherwise called as metal bicarbonate okay children so now the acids when react with the metal hydrogen carbonates the same way like how metal carbonates behave with acid here also the same way metal hydrogen carbonates also react with the acids to liberate carbon dioxide gas because of the presence of carbonate okay and water will be the by product here so as a result what will be the main product salt because metal hydrogen carbonate contains metal and acids contain a negative radical also okay so this metal will react with this negative radical to form salt whereas this hydrogen will be taking oxygen from this carbonate and then uh, produced as water now from the carbonate carbon dioxide gas will be getting liberated so here we have an example hcl reacts with sodium bicarbonate what is this reactant sodium bicarbonate or you can uh, call that as sodium hydrogen carbonate also so when it reacts with sodium bicarbonate then what is the salt formed sodium chloride sodium chloride is the salt okay whereas carbon dioxide gas will be getting liberated so that liberate liberation of gas can be identified by brisk effervescence right so whenever the carbon dioxide gas is getting liberated it can be tested with lime water what is lime water it is calcium hydroxide that i'll explain you in the next uh, uh, ppt okay then water will be the by product so this is how the reaction will take place let us see another example here with uh, another uh, carbonate hydrogen carbonate so when hcl is treated with uh, potassium bicarbonate khco3 okay then what will be the salt of course kcl will be the salt okay because here this will be getting generated as pa on k plus and h3o minus ion now the k plus ion will be getting combining with combined with this cl and then form kcl okay so kcl is the salt and carbon dioxide will be getting liberated and water will be formed as a by product okay children so this is the third reaction third property okay now the fourth and fifth property we will discuss in the next class in detail and in that class i am going to explain how to test the carbon dioxide gas with lime water thank you